hey now marwa takes a walk with this lady who makes it very clear that she's single hey she is explaining it to marwa in spanish that she's single but she has a baby so i'm here watching this video and i'm saying hey does uh, <laughs> doesn't this sound familiar that uh, ladies will explain their kids when they work with uh, i mean when they get somebody whom they're interested in and uh, they have to explain their status i'm single i'm single i may have a child yes but i'm single so this lady in argentina whose name i've not i'm unable to get very well or to remember is making it very clear to marwa that yes i'm single spanish is a uh, funny spanish is a funny language it sounds like a language one can learn and understand marwa speaks spanish very well and um uh, I, I I see like um it is such an added advantage in Marwa's uh, um adventures because uh most of the countries uh where he's visiting uh um lately is as as uh, Spanish speaking countries. Um Actually, it has become much of a help to him because he's able to communicate. And I'm imagining somebody who does not understand Spanish. If that person uh, visited these countries, don't you think they would, they would uh, you know, you remember how uh, Dimwango had issues um, getting somebody who can speak English in Indonesia. And uh, it was very hard because very few people in Indonesia were speaking, uh, speak English. So she had a very rough time when she arrived there before she could get somebody that she could communicate with. So I'm thinking language is very, very important. And I'm thinking maybe when Marwa uh, decided to study or to, I don't know where he went to school to study this Spanish. No, I remember him saying he never went to any school. He just learned it on his own. But guys, Marwa speaks Spanish very, very well. He speaks uh, Spanish very very fluently and these countries get get dark very early oh my god what is this this is a moth there's a moth that is disturbing me here no okay the, 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 that's a moth <laughs> oh my god so uh, hey it gets it gets dark very very early when it is nearing winter and uh, sometimes I watch Marwa and I wonder oh my god is he okay is he gonna go i make it back to his hotel or whatever his whatever airbnb wherever he's staying um safely because right now i was watching this video where mara is taking this adventure with this girl who looks mature to me and uh, uh it's it's not like uh mm, it's not like uh the earlier lady that he met why am I forgetting their names? Oh my God. What is the name of that other girl? Let me find out. That other girl's name was who? Because what I have not known is the name of this particular one that he's walking with towards the beach. It is. It looks dark and it is just the two of them walking. Um, and uh, it started getting uh, dark as they were walking and uh, the lady was explaining to Marwa that uh, darkness comes early. Uh, when it is nearing winter so uh, it, it it gets dark as early as five o'clock which is uh, <laughs> very unusual in africa we that's not the kind of life we know so i'm trying to get the other na the name of that lady who marwa was uh was uh walking with who marwa connected with and had a vibe both of them had a vibe let me tell you the name yes the name of that lady is uh, Sophia. Yes, this is not Sophia. Sophia is the lady who, who, who actually swept Marwa's feet. And uh, there seemed to be some chemistry between them. But this lady is explaining that uh, she's single in, in Spanish and that she has a baby. But Marwa doesn't seem to, to connect with, with her the way he connected with Sophia. In fact, Marwa said that he likes tall girls <laughs> marwa likes tall girls uh, you could see the way marwa was uh, uh, vibing with uh, sophia it doesn't seem to be the case with this particular one but anyway 
Marwa is able to connect with with uh, different people, even as he he visits different countries. But uh, mostly ladies, uh, mostly ladies. Um, he has that vibe. So guys, I that was just a by the way. If you are new here, you are welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. Thank you for always coming back to watch my videos. We usually go to Nyambohanse every other time. Nyambohanse is Marwa's home village in Africa. That's where we, we visit every other time because that is where our niche is. <laughs> we like talking about Marwa. We like checking on his him and his siblings. We like talking about his village where he introduced so many YouTubers to YouTube. <clears throat> he initiated them to YouTube and... Today they are doing so well. They are doing very, very well. So, um, that's us. We wake up to go to Nyabohanse we, with no apologies because that's where we, we, we find our vibe. And uh, I don't know what has happened today because I was not able to visit Nyabohanse. You know there are days, now today being a weekend, there are days that you are so busy, but you just get to notice one, one or two things uh, in one of Marwa's videos. So this is what I, I realized was happening in Argentina and um, I did not see like uh, there was much because there before Marwa was just walking in the Argentinian uh, streets where he bought that thing for the head and was saying he has to get somebody to wear, to wear that thing, I don't know its name, on the head. So <laughs> other than that, then I did not get time to visit Nyabohanse, but I know the boys are doing well. I don't know whether Minhawi is still in the village. She said the mother had a function and had to be there up to ninth. So I'm still imagining she's still in the village. But I know that uh, Uncle Mo was, um, sh uh, Ma Minhawi was showing off Uncle Mo's uh, beautiful house. Uh, <laughs> the seats were very comfortable and very clean. But did I see a family in Uncle Mo's home? I didn't. So I was wondering. Where is Uncle Mo's family? Surely, did 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 the the the, the fans as as Uncle Mo, as Uncle Mo called them? Did they build, help build a house a house just to be rocked and just like that? That doesn't have the warmth of the of the family inside. It's my pressure. It would be my pressure to see Uncle Mo with his family because we knew his family from there before, and I wonder why why his family is not there. Why why should he live alone? There was a time we thought that we had seen a child pass by in that home and we thought the family is back. But even as Minhai was taking a, a, was doing a house tour, we did not see Uncle Mo's family in that home. But the, fam the house is so clean, so neat. Even the compound has taken shape. But the gate, the gate is still not opened. You know, Uncle Mo said it will be after 14 days. And said that if you visited him, you'll not even get in because that door, that gate doesn't have to be shaken. I think there is a place where he squeezes himself in and out. But you as a guest may not be able to fit in that space. So he said until the door is, the gate is, is dry and cured, you shouldn't visit there. So I realized that Komo's house is very beautiful. And uh, I also know that Mayuguno has brought a tank and his compound is almost... And there is also a solar panel. The Marwa's, uh, I mean, Mayuguno's home is already lit. It's already lit. It's not dark. So there is progress in Mayuguno's um, home. And uh, that's a very good thing. I wonder when he's starting constructing the main, main, main house. I also know that um, these other boys are still doing well. Uh, Geta Gita and company, they are also doing very, very well. But I also know that there are some guys that have left the village. Claude, Claude Joseph. Oh my God. Did I ever see Claude Joseph in the village as a, as a resident in Nyabohansa? I don't know where Claude Joseph's home's home is. But I know he's one of the YouTubers that have succeeded very well. Because this guy, I saw him yesterday taking a flight to some country. I don't know which country he was going to. I'm going to check on that later. I'm just analyzing the few boys that I've seen uh, do very well with YouTube. And that's why I was suggesting that these guys that have managed to make something out of themselves, let them check out with Marwa when he's coming back and then they receive him like uh, 
the, the king of the troop that he is. That's what I said in the other video. Because look at Claude Joseph. Hey, doing very well. I also know that uh, there's a girl that has been stolen from that village by uh, a Rwadiz, uh, no, a Brudian <laughs> boy. <laughs> Brudian Traveller has stolen our girl. Oh my God, Brudian Traveller. We are going to take you to court. How do you steal our Diana Kemi? Diana Kemi has gotten herself a, a boyfriend in Brudian Traveller. And they are now not doing a... Uh, they are now so, uh, a brilliant travel will not do solo travels anymore um <laughs> they look like they're in love they are kissing and stealing glances and doing all those nice things about lovers i wonder whether they are real or just for views but all i know is they are together and they have set out to travel guys so diana kemi that's a girl to look out for that's a girl to look out for doing very, very well in YouTube. And now having gotten her, herself a boyfriend in the name of Broody and Traveller, you can imagine what content we are going to be treated to. I also know that there's a girl called the Travelling Miss who took off with our Coco girl to Rwanda also. They are doing content in Rwanda back to back, back to back. <laughs> And sometimes they wake up and go out and when they, st they, they they want to part ways and say, you, we cannot work together because, you know, we don't want to do the same content. You go that direction and I take this other direction. And you see this traveling means is also doing very well. Uh, today she had uh, posted a video where she, she talked about fighting love <laughs> in Rwanda. But I, I think it's just for content because she's, she's uh, actually venturing into... Uh, traveling with Coco Girl and I told you guys this was the best idea that any lady would have made, can make to get a traveling mate in the name of a lady friend, especially one who is a, oh my god, who is a um, well known like Coco Girl because this is a girl with a vibe and you remember Coco Girl will just go and go and go but don't touch her. If you touch Coco Girl Hey, you are touching fire. So, Coco Girl has been doing so well with her videos. This traveling miss of ours is also doing so well. She's going to go places and uh, we are very happy about it. Because uh, what she's doing is, is, very, is very, very good. So, I also know, hey, I'm talking about the things that I know. I also know that the President of the Republic of Kenya has uh, uh, decided to withdraw the tax um, the tax issue that he, he had said he would impose on content creators in Kenya. And he said it will come later. And this uh, is very, very good. It's very good news because the content creators would have, would have uh, gone nuts that tax of 15% would have surely affected them badly because there are many big YouTubers like I am Marwa, maybe who would have maybe paid very comfortably. But what about the small YouTube upcoming YouTubers who are so many like the Nyabuhansa YouTubers? Imagine them being taxed of their literal money that they are trying to earn out of their brain, out of their heads, out of their hard work. Some of them can, could not even afford a phone to shoot videos. But they did whatever they could and got this gadget that they are using to shoot videos. And you know, um, we start with, with, vid with, with, with phones. We start with phones and then we graduate to cameras. These guys are still on phones and yet they have not even graduated to a camera or a laptop in order to edit. And here they are being taxed by the government of Kenya again, even after the tax. The tax that is already... Um, in praise from the YouTube. So uh, we, we, we were thinking, we Kenyans, we were thinking it is a very, very bad idea to even cripple the upcoming YouTubers because that's a way of crippling them. Taxing them was a way of crippling them for the young YouTubers. But maybe for those that have built their names and have gotten themselves subscribers out there, maybe it will not have been a big issue. But surely we thank the president for having opted out of this tax from uh, uh, YouTubers and content creators. It's a very, very good uh, thing that he has done because the youth have to be nurtured and built. They don't have to de be demolished and uprooted just when they are taking root. 
it will not be a good thing and especially if it is the government that is uprooting its own it would be a very it would have been a very very bad bad thing so uh those are the few things that I, I know and those that I've noted out there that are happening and we are going to keep on checking issues out there that are coming in and uh, um, uh, issues uh, that are topics of the of, of UIT streets, interesting ones. We are going to note the notable ones and we are going to uh, highlight them in this channel even as we continue discussing them. So guys, thank you for watching. There wasn't much today, but surely all I have uh, seen, I've highlighted, only that I did not know the name of the girlfriend of Marwa who walked with him this evening, but not Sophia, the other one who has a child and not married. That's the name I've forgotten, but I'm going to check later. So guys, please subscribe to this channel and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.